This is going to be a more laid back kind of video where we take a look at this Dell Inspiron 1400 laptop from 2005. I have this laptop for about a year now. I paid like 12 euros back then for it. And it wasn't the greatest deal, but. Mm. Features a 1.5 gigahertz Celeron M processor designed for Windows XP. Currently it's running Windows 7 because I want to see how more modern-ish programs will run on it. The keyboard is a bit mush and the layout is a bit weird with this short left shift key. It's possible. Trackpad is very small, like very small. two buttons. On the left side of the laptop we have a modem, Ethernet, VGA but no screws, three USB 2.0 ports, two of them are stacked, interesting, microphone and headphone jack, and the PCMCIA slot, which currently has this plastic dough thing to protect it against dust or whatever. In front you have indicator lights for a bunch of things and two speakers which don't sound too good. On the right side CDRW slash DVDRW combo drive along with a Kensington lock. And on the rear we have DC power and the exhaust. Now looking at the back we have a compartment for the RAM and the Wi-Fi card, one for the hard drive and one for the cooling. And we also have the battery, so you just unlock this and then you take it out. So this is the battery, 56 watt hours, which is not bad for this laptop. But unfortunately, this battery is pretty much cooked. Doesn't hold a charge, which is unfortunate. SD model number PP21L, fine name. 19 volts at 3.16 amps. Made in Ireland, that's interesting. Also got the info for the Wi Fi card. There is the cooling fan. So now we're gonna plug in the Adapter. This isn't the original adapter, which means I'm committing a war crime, but whatever. It does fail. Now we can turn it on. So, as I said, uh, this is running Windows 7. Home premium. It's very quiet at the moment. Something that's really nice about it. Although it does get hot after a while. That's been unfortunate. And there we are. Boot time is not bad. The hard drive in this is only 40 gigabytes, so you won't uh, put many programs and games on it as you upgrade the hard drive. So going and we're soon gonna reach the desktop. Because it's something uh, there, it's normal. It's from the Intel GMA drivers. Screen flashes to initialize. It's all fine. And we're in Windows. It's running Celeron M at 1.5 GHz with 2 gigs of RAM. 32 bit operating system because the Celeron M is a 32 bit processor only. Press index says it's a 1.0. We're getting 
2.8 on the processor, 4.1 on the RAM thanks to the 2 gigs of RAM, 1.9 for the graphics, 1.0 for the gaming graphics. That is interesting and 4.1 for the hard drive. Really, if you want to do any kind of gaming on this, it's around 1300, you would probably stick with XP and really old games. Let's try it, 3 more code 3 on here and we're getting 842, which is only a little bit lower than what this laptop can get in XP. So this is working as it should. You see that Windows also tells you that the battery is cooked. So if I go to the battery indicator here, Windows tells you that it needs to be replaced. And if I unplug it right now, pretty much shut off immediately. This laptop is a 15.4 inch 12A by 800 screen. It's pretty sharp and the aspect ratio is nice, but this is a TN panel and the viewing angles on this are really bad. Not to mention the colors are not great. Probably seen worse, but yeah, it doesn't look too amazing. Because of the aspect ratio, this is actually pretty decent for writing documents. Works quite well. To get into web browsing, however, this is where the laptop shows its age. So this RPG had 512 megs of RAM. However, as I said, it was upgraded to 2 gigabytes, which does help definitely, but you're still limited by the single core CPU. My testing Microsoft Edge was a little bit faster than Firefox, but as you'll see, it's still pretty slow. It's not that the Wi-Fi is slow, because I'm getting about 20-25 megabits per second. So there we go, we're loaded and we're gonna search for something. So let's say you're probably an Intel GMA fan somehow. I wonder if those people exist. You want to search for Intel. Sorry. You want to search for Intel GMA stuff. How long does it take? Let's load Tech Power Up. Was loading, I'm gonna say about uh, the quality. It's fine. So this was a budget 2005 laptop. Plastic has a bit of texture to it. Uh, the side, and I hear it's more smooth. Yeah, it's a little cheap. It's not very uh, flexible. No, it's built okay. Still didn't load the page though, but soon it will load. There we go. Alright. We took some time, but actually scrolling the page. It's actually quite smooth. Now you can read about stuff. It's fine. For YouTube, your best bet is running at 360p along with the H.264 extension. Extreme graphics. More, more like extreme garbage, am I right? Please, for dear God, don't run it in full screen, it's terrible. It's really bad. At higher settings. Granted, when the action heats up, it will struggle a bit. I pressed the space bar and was quite a bit of delay there. Uh, the speakers are not great, they get kind of distorted and not a bass uh, and yeah, it just kind of suck. Playback is decent if you're not in full screen.
While browsing, the CPU was back at 100% most of the time, so it's really struggling. If you want to play videos locally, your best bet is 720p at 30fps, although even then the CPU will struggle quite a bit. You can see it's almost maxed out, but I do think the GMA900 is helping here, so it's decent. So we see the Onispran 1300 from 2005 still usable in 2022. Well, at least with Windows 7, no, because web browsing is quite sluggish, quite slow. I won't use this laptop for more than basic document editing or music playback. Although in another video I could install Linux on this and see if it's improving the general usability of this device. So stick around. Dell Notebook started just $5.99. Hurry, these offers end March 2nd. Get more out of service and support with Dell. Get more out of now. Dell PCs use Intel Celeron processor.